All right, so here we go. We have our now newly made kind of a spindle type of thing that we made in the last video that allows um, this coupler to be held to plexiglass. So now we have to just mount it to the plexiglass. Uh, to do that, one must have a marker of some sort. I'm doing is just kind of lining this up via line of sight. And I'm just going to put a dot wherever a bolt would go. Making sure this is in line with the actual threaded rod. So I'm going to do that again. There we go. So those are where we have to drill. I'm a big fan of countersinking things. So in order to actually make this look better, what I like to do is put a bigger drill bit on this drill. And drill these out just a little bit. Like that. Not much, just a little bit. Clean them up a little bit. Sometimes you get too deep. So you have to kind of hold your drill. Just clean it off. There we go. So those are now countersunk in. Alright, now we just tap it. Again, I kind of went over tapping, but while well, I got the camera going. I think of this like this. Kids of all ages can watch this and learn. Not just adults that know what tapping is, but you know, when I had, when my dad was alive, he taught me all kinds of crazy stuff. So those parents that don't do that for their children, I would like to be the one that does that for them, I think. go. We have to do that for every hole and then you just back it out. Easy as that. Best invention in the world. A tap. Alright, let's move on. Alright, so now that it's attached and uh, I could have went four bolts but I'm running out of bolts and the hardware store is closed so I'm going to go two bolts for right now and get more bolts later and to be honest with you I think four bolts is a little overkill anyway it's not like it's going to go anywhere now the long arduous task of threading the rod through the stupid 10 or the quarter 20 coupler which I am not going to record because it would be so boring, it would be pathetic. I will give you a hint, however. Oil is your best friend. No matter if it is in production yet, oil is your best friend. So, just a little bit of oil on a paintbrush, right in that area down the actual shaft itself. There we go. That'll make it like a thousand times easier. Oh yeah. 
Much better. Okay, so this is going to take a while. This is I haven't cut this rod yet, and I will later. But for right now, I'm leaving it at the full. Uh, I think this is actually like 36 inch length. And I do that because I'm going to have to build a bracket in order for this to twist around in on the other side of the actual device. So uh, for right now, this is my job for the next hour. <laughs> Enjoy. All right, so there we go. We have our shuttle now attached to the X. And you can see the overhang right there. What I like to do with overhang is there's a tool that I use all the time for everything. This, okay, this is my best friend. I always say that I have a bunch of best friend tools, but this is my best friend. I can cut aluminum with this, and now I'm gonna cut steel rod with it. Just like that. Now, why don't I use power tools? Because the kids are sleeping, and they sleep a lot. Thank God. Well, other net, that's the best way to do it, so you don't make a lot of noise. So, there we go. And we have now our X axes. Um, what I want to do here is take one of these and put it over the top of this, just so this doesn't make a lot of noise. Okay, again, I want to keep this as silent as possible. I want this thing to hum like a ninja. And the best thing to do is make this so it doesn't rattle around too much. I'll probably do that a little bit later, but I am going to do it. There is the X motion. Enjoy.